station of Illini Sports. This is WCIA 3 Sports and your Illini Nation. Illinois needed a huge second half to overcome Northwestern in their last meeting, having just 19 points in the first half. From that to 47 in the second half just to edge the Wildcats. But those Cats are tricky this year. A win over number one Purdue, but a loss to Chicago State. WCIA 3 Sports Director Brett Behrens is live at the State Farm Center. Brett, Illinois has dominated the rivalry recently, but those Cats, they can be feisty. Yeah, we'll see which Northwestern team shows up tonight there has been a little bit of both good and bad for the Wildcats this season the same can be said for Illinois this is their first opponent against the high major team since Terrence Shannon Jr's suspension the first game without their potential All-American was a breeze as they beat Fairleigh Dickinson in a blowout in their non-conference schedule six guys in double figures they're likely going to need that same balanced scoring attack to find success with Shannon suspended stopping Boo Booey at the top of the sky Scouting report tonight for the Orange and Blue. Senior guard averaging 17.9 points per game for the Wildcats. That's seventh best in the Big Ten. And he certainly got the attention of the line eye after dropping a career high 35 against them in Champaign last season. Uh, in most cases, probably the best guard in our league uh, in Boo Booey. Uh, I think he had uh, 28 with about 14 to go last year. Uh, something like that. Maybe it was more than that. Uh, Seemed like every time he touched and he scored, uh, you've got to, you got to—you can't leave him alone. He's got maybe the best float game in college basketball in terms of floaters from, from 15 feet. You know, but you've got to make it hard. Here's the matchup. Both teams 10 and 2 overall, 1 and 0 in Big Ten play. Illinois has only started 2 and 0 in the league once under head coach Brad Underwood. That's at stake tonight in the first game of the new calendar year. And we've got even more coverage coming up on the Your Line Nation pregame show. Join me and Derek Piper at the top of the hour on our digital channels, the WCIA3 Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube pages as we get ready for the matchup. The Illini five and a half point favorites over their neighbors to the north in Chicago's Big Ten team, but Illinois is one nine out of the last 10 games in this series, Andy. Yeah, Brett, uh, this game is the beginning of what is a huge week overall. The Illini get a top 10 matchup this Friday as they head to number one Purdue. Big 10 schedule will be fast and furious at this point. So I ask you, Brett, what are you looking for from the Illini tonight in their first Big 10 game without Terrence Shannon? <laughs> Yeah, I think it's all about that balanced attack. Can you get guys like Justin Harmon? We've seen Quincy Guerrier really step up his game these past couple of weeks dating back to Tennessee. And it's those complimentary pieces that were those guys when Terrence Shannon Jr. was on the court. Since he is not, those guys have to become more of a focal point. Can a guy like Luke Goody, who only scored a couple of points in that Fairleigh Dickinson game, come out and have a better performance? Will he be in the starting lineup? There's a lot to gel here and figure out for Coach Brad Underwood and his team as they get into this Big Ten schedule. Like you said, it's going to be a lot of games in a short amount of times here. 19 games leading up into the Big Ten tournament in March. Reporting live at State Farm Center, I'm Brett Behrens. Andy, back to you. All right, Brett, thanks so much. Looking forward to your reporting. Should be a very fun one coming up tonight at 10. Got Brett's report from the game, plus highlights as well, so be sure to tune back in. All right, thanks, thanks Andy.